Welcome to Dairy TV. In this week's episode, we will be discussing some of the fundamental uh, cow comfort elements, which are about six. And uh, the first one is feed, second will be water, third will be space, fourth will be rest, fifth and sixth are fresh water and light. But before we go on, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Many farmers in Kenya are not housing their animals with the best possible comfort. So today we will be discussing feed and water comfort for the animals. The feeding comfort is the most fundamental, where animals need to access feed at all times, about 22 hours a day. The feed trough should be very, very clean. It should also be accessible for both the animal and the workers who are feeding it. In this farm, they have an open trough system where the cows can easily access the feed. Uh, the workers can be able to refill the feed when necessary with ease. They can clean, making sure that the troughs are kept clean. Uh, but most of the farms I've visited, you see that the troughs are deep. They have walls on both sides. They are very, very enclosed, hard to clean. This compromises the quality of feed because of the multiplication of bacteria within the trough. And that can cause an outbreak of diseases, the formation of mold, etc. These are not good signs. So if you have a deep trough system, consider opening it up or making sure it's uh, cleaned on a daily basis or on a weekly basis to avoid all of these hazards. So your uh, water trough should be accessible, easy to clean, uh, free from algae or any kind of contamination so that you can protect your animals. Uh, with that, let's take a short break and we'll be back with more cow, co cow comfort elements. Welcome back to Cow Comfort. Let's uh, continue to discuss about uh, space. Cows need space for various reasons. They are social animals. They will need to interact with each other. They will require to exhibit natural behavior like mounting heat and so forth. They will move around from the sleeping area to the feeding area as they socialize. So space is quite important. Your workers as well will need to move around from place to place, selecting animals, moving them from the feeding area to the milking area. So all of these um, processes require space, which is uh, a fundamental cow comfort. Uh, after all of this activity, your cows will need to rest. Where are they resting? Do they need a comfortable bedding or will they just sleep on bare com concrete? Most farmers uh, provide uh, mattresses. Some of them are quite thin, maybe about uh, 40 millimeters thick, which is almost as hard as concrete when it comes to a 600 kilo animal. So these uh, mattresses are not very comfortable which ends up having uh, problems. Your cows will develop hock injuries, which will, might develop into abscesses, infections, uh, diseases come from there. Now you have to call your vets. Spend money to treat your animals. To prevent that, we will give them a soft landing. They normally drop on their knees. Here I'll be demonstrating a knee test to see how comfortable your bedding is. Uh, this is actually straw. Uh, this is actually sawdust bedding. So the neatest involves me dropping on my knees to be able to assess if there is enough bedding. Essentially or ideally, there should be six inches of bedding. I actually didn't uh, hurt myself. I think there is enough bedding here for the animals to be comfortable. Um, I don't see any hawk injuries in the herd, so this is quite good bedding. The first uh, bedding option can be 
soft sand, uh, straw, sawdust or uh, rice husks which are you can choose uh, the bedding that is easily available in your in your locality. The next fundamental aspect of cow comfort is fresh air which is uh, a right for every animal and also everyone who is working within your farm. The aeration is very important to take away um, harmful gases to dry your barn, cooling your animals and everybody will be comfortable either living for your cows and working for your staff in your dairy farm. And the other aspect or element of cow comfort is light. It will help your animals uh, feed more regularly. They will have uh, an increased dry matter intake which we want to increase our production. Your workers will be happy they will be in a well-lit area, as you can see. And uh, all these processes will make your dairy a success. That brings us to the end of our episode. Thank you for watching Dairy TV. And I hope the content has been helpful. Let's see each other in the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe.